Hi guys, welcome to this video for General Maths on Eulerian Trails and Circuits. My goodness, could it get any more exciting than this? No, you are saying I'm being made to watch this, so shut up and get on with it. Well, before I get on with it, can you do me the honor, please, of subscribing on YouTube? I know it's huge, it's a massive effort putting that click, but just clicking it lets me know that people are watching. I know I am never gonna be rich, never gonna be famous, and never even gonna get more than eight people watching my videos. Hi, mum. It's just that if you click, it just lets me know that I'm not sitting in this room being a complete loser for nothing. All right, so please click that button and tell your mates. If you enjoy the video, tell your mates. It's there to help people. And I try and do stuff in a bit of a easy, humorous, but wow, are you gonna smash general maths way? All right, so anyway. Looking behind me, what are we gonna deal with this lesson? What well, it's building on the stuff we've done before. Now, if you head over to mathsguru.com, you can also download the lesson notes that are behind me, all right? Sign up for free, lesson notes are downloadable, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. But, what are we gonna do? I'm gonna tell you what an Eulerian trail is. We've met him before, yes, with the very fat elephants. Yeah, don't go there, all right? But the point of it is we met him, he seemed to be fairly clever, a bit of a loner, but fairly clever, and an Eulerian circuit. Have your summary book by you guys. A lot of this stuff is gonna go in that summary book and help you smash your exam. Now, in a previous video, we talked about two videos ago, if you're watching these in order, walks, trails, paths, circuits, and cycles. And again, to this day, I do not remember this. I taught it literally 10 minutes ago. Still cannot remember. That's why it's there for your summary book. But it's gonna be built on now because Euler actually has something very important to say about graph theory. Now, why do we need this stuff again? A lot of this stuff you like, there's nothing, there's, why would I use this? Well, actually, logistics. Postman, all right? I worked for the post office once, there's a long story behind this, but my boys who I currently teach said, keep it short, sir, you're as boring as hell. Okay, thanks very much for that. Uh, but a postman does not want to leave the depot in the morning with his mail sack, and he doesn't want to head out and then go back and down the street and then down another street and then come back and go up and back. He doesn't want to repeat streets. He doesn't want to go backwards and forwards to the same house. He wants to find the quickest, most efficient route to get from the depot back to another depot, right? So this is really, really important. Can he go and visit a load of different points by just going down a road or each road just once, okay? And again, I've talked about this before. When I went to Islands of Adventure, uh, no, it wasn't Islands of Adventure, where was it? Um, that's annoying, it's in California. It's run by Six Flags, Magic Mountain. When I went to Six Flags Magic Mountain, they just opened a ride called X2. Scariest ride I've ever been on in my life. Huge story about this, which I maybe put on a TikTok one day. But did I say TikTok? I'm on TikTok, at Maths Guru. So come and join me. Anyway, it's the scariest ride I've ever been on my life. But again, when I go to a theme park, I don't want to keep walking backwards and forwards. Theme parks get busy and you've got to go around it the quickest way. Here's my top tip for that. When you go to a theme park, go left. Never go right. Why? Most people are right-handed, and for some reason, psychologically, they want to go right. You go left, you'll go round the theme park the other way, and you'll actually get half the park done before you meet everyone else coming. Top tip, anyway. But, again, going around a theme park in one quick way without repeating stuff is really, really important. So, Euler. Again, not only was he looking at very fat elephants, he looked at the idea of graphs. And he looked at the idea that he says, well, hold on a moment. An Eulerian trail said, well, I want a trail named after me. And if we go back, it said here from your summary book, a trail is a walk with no repeated, vert uh, sorry, edges. We can't repeat an edge, all right? And again, I was like, what the flipping heck is a walk again? Well, a walk is a sequence of edges linking successive vertices that connects to different vertices in a graph. Way too many vertices in there, but basically, I'm just heading out, I'm going around a load of vertices, I can start and end wherever. So an Eulerian trail. Euler begins with E, and so I know it's got something to do with edges from that moment forward. So an Eulerian trail is a trail which includes every edge in a graph. So again, if I, let's have a look. What did we do? In a previous video, we looked at traversability. That's got degree two, three, three, two, and two. Now, in that situation, I now know this is traversable. I know I'm gonna be able to go around this graph by just doing the edges once. So long as I start at three and go everywhere around, and again, it doesn't matter which way I go, but I started and ended. All I've done there is gone around each edge once. I've started at one of the vertices and I've ended up at another. So again, the trail does not have to start and end at the same place, all right? But you can't repeat edges. So that's an Eulerian trail. What do you reckon an Eulerian circuit is? 
Uh, Euler now begins with E, so it's got something to do with edges, all right? But a circuit is a walk that has no repeated edges, that's okay, and starts and ends at the same vertex. Okay, so let's see. If we now look at the degrees of each of these, this has degree two, degree two, degree two, and degree two. And again, from our video previously on traversability, we know that if they are all even, we're gonna be able to do this. I can choose any of these vertices to start at. I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna go along there, I'm gonna go up and then back. Now, the reason it's a circuit is because I'm starting and finishing at the same place. Wow, this stuff's amazing. Now, could there be rules to help us with this, maybe? Summary books, gold. Yes, there is, it's maths. So, Eulerian trails. First things first, for it to be a trail, the graph must be connected. There can be no loners in there. You don't know what I'm talking about? It's in the previous video. Must have two odd degree vertices, which will start at one odd vertex and finish at the other. Off vertex? What was I thinking? That's supposed to be odd. So I'm actually going to cross that through. So when you do your notes, you know that's odd. An Eulerian circuit, again, it must be connected to no loners, but must have all vertices with an even degree, which will start and end at the same vertex, right? Now, this note here is important, sorry for reading, but a graph with more than two odd degree vertices is not traversable. And as a result, that would mean then it wouldn't have an Eulerian trail or an Eulerian circuit. So all of this, great to put in your summary book. For each of these graphs, let's have a look at some examples. Determine whether the graph has an Eulerian trail, an Eulerian circuit, or neither, and say why. Well, we've just done this one. That's got a degree two, degree two, degree two, and degree two. So that's got all even degrees. So again, if we look at this here, an Eulerian circuit, will have vertices with an even degree. So that there is an Eulerian, E-U-L-E-R-I-A-N, circuit. And the reason why? Because they have all even degrees. All the vertices have even degrees. If the graph has an Eulerian trail or an Eulerian circuit, show one example. When again, in that situation, you would simply color it in, ka-ching, all right? This is literally general maths for the worst part of it, yes? Why are we coloring in? Next one here. Ooh, determine whether the graph has an Eulerian trail, an Eulerian circuit, or neither, and state why. So again, we've got two, 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 three, and three. This will have an Eulerian trail. Now, why is it not an Eulerian circuit? Because it's just got two odd vertices. So in this situation here, I'm gonna start at one, three, and gonna end at the other. Because I'm not going back to where I started, it can't be a circuit. I'm not coloring that one in, by the way. That previous one said color it in. I'm still not coloring it in. Last one, determine whether the graph has an Eulerian trail or an Eulerian circuit or neither and state why. Well, let me think, what could this possibly be by process of elimination? So that's three, 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 and two. Are they all even? No, is there just two odd? No, so in which case that is neither. You're not gonna be able to get around that one by doing all of the edges just once. And there we go. Thank you very much. That is the end of this video. Hopefully it's been useful. There's another one coming about Hamilton. Again, these are really short. Then we get into some fun, fun stuff. But if you can, leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my YouTube. Head over to TikTok. Just help me know that there are people watching these videos. All right? There are more to come. Please stay safe and look after yourself. And hopefully I will see you again. Take care.